Welcome back to my channel. It is Candice with the K here where I normally talk books, beauty, and kicks. So we're talking from scratch and from scratch, we're getting into it. <laughs> the book is so much better than the series. And here are my reasons why. Thanks to the folks over at Book Sparks, they sent me a copy of From Scratch prior to its release on Netflix. So I got to sit with the book for a minute before actually watching the show. And I was really intrigued by the story of this book. We're talking about a woman who happened to be studying abroad in Italy, met the love of her life, essentially navigated being a not even by coastal relationship but a super long distance relationship before actually coming together having to deal with the fact that he was being disowned by his family still pursuing their love unable to get pregnant but adopting still persevering in love for him to then just get sick with cancer and die and her having to navigate life without the love of her life it was such a compelling read just hearing um, the sacrifices that were made, the intention behind their love. And I feel like you get that in the show, but it's centered around a lot of unnecessary fluff and on a lot of unnecessary and meaningless drama. So one part of the book that is really captivating is because the love is really oozing off the pages as you're reading it. You could feel her really loving her... Um, his name is not Nino in the book. It's it's Sorrow. Her husband, she really loved her husband, loves her husband. And I'm not saying that she doesn't in the show, but the character change is to dramatize it. And I get that um, because we couldn't watch eight episodes of just them being madly in love. So some of the unnecessary drama that we see in the movie or series that we don't see in the book is kind of these conflicts with their mother, her sister, um, her mother being kind of like bratty. Um, the stuff about the dad is true um, because in the book, the dad is very detached from his son and all of that. Um, the even their 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 conflicts within themselves doesn't get talked about that much in the book, and I'm not. Not to say that they don't exist because what relationship doesn't have conflict, but I just wanted more love. And it was lovey-dovey in the series. But when you read the book in comparison to the series, you see what's real and what's not. I think if you have the opportunity to read the book, you should only because of how well it is written and it goes back and forth between um, when they were first meeting to like post death, then, you know, navigating these different stages of life, but back and forth between America, Sicily, prior to his death, post his death. I think it's really well written. Um, I will have the book linked down below. Go pick it up from Amazon. Won't say that the book is a quick read, only because it's a memoir and I think when you're reading someone's life story you really want to digest it and you want to sit with it and understand the perspective the feeling the emotion and so I I think the book is better <laughs> I mean there aren't many cases where the adaptation is better than the book but I would have loved if they stayed more true to the book the name change kind of threw me. Um, the change in career threw me a little bit. Um, them trying to make the surrogate seem like she was a college student from UCLA when she really went to Oakland. Like these are spaces where you could put certain cities on the map. Talk about them. Um, the whole like blow up at the family dinner between their parent, like his dad congratulating his sister for getting engaged or her sister for getting engaged. These kind of just small details, they leave an impression. And I understand it's inspired by, so you have more of a wiggle room, but if we could have kept it true to the book, I would have been A-okay. <laughs> 
don't really have much else to say about it. This is Candace with a K. Be sure to follow Candace with a K Reads and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.